Okay, in this video I will try and teach you how to set up multi-instance resetting for Minecraft 1.16.1. Uh, this may not work exactly for you. I'm sorry, I most likely can't provide individual help to everyone with this, but I don't know. If it's something simple, I might be able to help, but first things first, you need to set up your taskbar properly. Uh, it may seem convoluted, but that's unfortunately what you gotta do. So you go down here to taskbar settings, make sure you select use small taskbar buttons. It is located on the bottom of your screen and that you never combine taskbar buttons. That is important if you want the window to automatically switch to the active one. If you don't care about that, I will include a version which doesn't automatically switch windows and you can have it set up however you want. So that's the first thing. Next you need to duplicate your 1.16.1 speedrun instance as many uh, times as you want to run the game so I recommend just setting up four of them so you'd click duplicate here three times then you go into the edit each instance uh, make sure everything copied there just fine and now you need to have a folder on your desktop call it whatever it can be anywhere I guess but desktops easiest and then you want to make three folders in here for your new instances so it's minecraft minecraft 1 minecraft 2 I already have that done so I'm not gonna worry about that and now for game directory here in each of your new instances you're going to edit and browse then select the folders you just made one for each instance and then you're going to launch each instance one time and then close it this is so it can populate the files my PC is really slow so I'm not going to do it for every single instance but you'd open it close it open two close it open three close it and you should have Uh, your folders here populated with stuff so now what you're going to do is go to your app data dot minecraft and then you're going to want to have a few things copied over in each instance first is options txt you're going to copy that over it shouldn't tell you to replace it might I don't know just hit replace if it tells you to replace do that for all four instances or all three of the new instances next you're going to want to take your mods copy all those over just like you did with options and then in each resource packs folder you're going to want to paste this multipack.zip in each one and then lastly in your saves you're gonna wanna copy some kind of uh, practice world like I just use the dragon practice here copy that over and rename it to start with an underscore this is just so uh, your list never ends up empty and the macro keeps working it's just to keep your world list existent and you also want to rename any practice worlds in your main instance that you want to keep from being moved out to begin with an underscore like I have here So that should be everything in terms of setting up the folders. So next, you're going to launch each instance.
and you're going to now fix some settings on them all. You're gonna want to keep track of which one is which. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. Load up whatever practice world you brought over. And you're going to want to take the resource pack and uh, load it up and hit done. Do that for each one. So I already have them all there, but you'd uh, you'd have to load them all. Did I accidentally open instance one a bunch? No. That that's strange. Okay. Don't know what happened exactly, but so if we want to go to the language pack or the languages menu. <laughs> Ignore me getting confused there. So in our instance one, we want to set it to English Australia. Language two, we want to set it to or instance two, we want to set it to English UK. Instance three, English Canada, and then instance four, English uh, US. And click done on all these and you should see in your title bars now you have instance one two three and four now we're going to go to our video settings and some settings that commonly I've seen mess up are the vignette here you want to make sure that's what you normally keep it at turn entity calling off that's important your pidar won't work if you or sorry your e-ray won't work if you don't do that and turn planar fog back on those are the ones I've seen commonly mess up. So now that you have your title bars set up, you want to move, so you want to maximize your window and move it to the very left of your taskbar. Do that for each of your instance and keep them in order. So one, two, three, Four, and you want to make sure your uh, taskbar here isn't crowded so it doesn't like shrink the the little tabs down here so you should have minecraft here 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 and here now you're going to run your script oh first sorry I forgot before you run your script you need to copy your saves directories over so I have them set for me already. To find them, you just go to properties, copy this path, and then just replace the part right here before the saves. And then fill that in. Or sorry, you want to do that for uh, saves. You go to properties copy or right click saves properties and copy that and then paste that before the slash saves slash and you do that for all of them for your first one if you're still doing it out of app data same thing copy that over and then you'd put that there like that set working directory I don't know if this line matters I don't even know how I'd even begin to test that but you want to set that to be whatever uh, this like 
desktop folder is. I don't think it matters. Global delay here, keep that on 50. Uh, that'll keep you from skipping any screens. You can try fine tuning this if you want, but I don't think it's worth it when you're doing multi instance. Global instances, you want to change this to the amount you're running, so I'm doing four right now. Uh, keep that like this, keep all this the same. Uh, I don't think there's anything else you have to change. So you're going to have really two hotkeys here. Reset and reset with your settings. Uh, those are U and N by default. Settings reset just is like if you're in the nether and your uh, like FOV and render distance is not what you normally have in the overworld, that'll reset that. It's going to change these to whatever you want as long as it's not numpad 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's all the modifications you should hopefully have to do to the script, so now you can run that. Make sure you're in a, in a world on all your instances before you run it or else it won't work. So you have to just load up a practice world or something every time you start a session. So now you can test to make sure everything's working by going to your first instance, hitting the reset key, should take you to the second, hit the reset key, should take you to the third, take you to the fourth, and back to the first. So everything there is working. Now we need to set up our OBS. Uh, this part's kinda up to you, really how you do most of it. You're gonna, best way to do this is to be running two instances of OBS. So this one here, I just have it, uh, well right now it's kind of messed up, but you just have it, ha I, this is the one for recording, so you want it to just tile all four of your OBS's or all three of them or whatever next to each other always on top like easily visible for the verifiers to see so we have that nice and good uh, if you're having a hard time getting them all to fit nicely what I do for each one is you uh, select it and do control E and the size for 1080p that you want is 960, 540, then it's just nice quarters of the screen. So you're going to want this, sorry, I, I should have mentioned this earlier. First, you're going to want to make a new scene collection here. Uh, if you messed up that, I think you can uh, I'll just leave a note to tell you to do that first somewhere in the description. I don't know. I don't want to redo this video or I might cut this part in. Who knows? But yeah, so there, that's your, uh, that's your recording setup. So it's going to be a different scene collection and it's going to have all four of them showing and you just leave this one recording the whole time while you're doing runs. And the next one you're going to have is your uh, stream. So I have my uh, main Minecraft here that I normally stream with. What you're going to want to do is duplicate this. And we're going to call that MC1 MC2. MC3 and MC4 and with these you're going to want to just change your window capture you're going to want to remove it 
and then you're going to want to re-add it back as uh, like instance one. Then you want to go to MC two, remove the Minecraft from there. Make this one instance two. So basically, you just want to have your the scene you stream with copied four times, but the only difference is which instance is being captured. So I already have that set up with uh, my OBS. So I'm gonna get rid of these new ones here. So now what you're going to want to do is go to uh, File, Settings, Hotkeys, and then for each instance, you're going to want to go here with Switch to Scene. So for your first instance, you want to do NumPad1, right? And, uh, oops. Oops. Yeah, NumPad1. If you can't do NumPad1, what you can do is do an on screen keyboard. Hit this up. What the hell? Options. Turn on numeric keypad. And then you can use the numpad to set the hotkeys. Just do that for one, two, three, and four. So now you'll notice that if you do one, two, three, and four, it'll be switching the scenes for you. And you can pull that to the side. And now you can go through and do a loop of resets again. and watch your uh, OBS instance there and see if it properly switched and it looks like it did for me so we're all good to go. Um, I think that covers everything. It's an interesting seed. All right, are we playing this out if this is good? Oh my God. Shit. Uh, yeah, I think that covers everything. If you uh, have any questions, let me know. If you don't use 1920 by 1080, I'll probably have made a script that works for whatever your resolution is. If I haven't, let me know and I can make it work. Uh, if you want to play in full screen, you're unfortunately going to have to reset in windowed mode. But you can always just full screen after the fact. Just make sure your OBS is like set up to work with that properly. If you have any questions about like your recording being fine, just open a ticket and the verifiers will tell you if it's fine. I think that about covers everything. So, uh, yeah. Happy resetting.